Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. How's everyone doing? Huge hug from Chile. Hello from North Carolina. I'm not great with the US states. I'm really sorry. Hey everyone. Hope you're doing all right. I don't know about you guys, but every time I listen to that jingle, I start just just dancing along. It's just it's just so relaxing to listen to. Um, thank you everyone for joining in. Um, just uh, a quick hello, my name is Tanya. And today I am really excited to be sharing my uh, techniques uh, using the Old New Mandala Meter stamp set, which I will show you an overview of in a bit. Cold Connecticut, East Yorkshire, hello, a fellow Brit. Um, so I am based here in the UK and um, it's very, very dark outside. I don't know about you guys, but uh, the days are getting shorter and shorter over here in the UK and it becomes really dark around about 4 or 5 p.m. So I have my lights on on full blast right now so that you guys can see everything. So if you could uh, l uh, let me know how you guys are, uh, if you've got tea or tea or coffee or your beverage of choice with you and if you're crafting as well, and do let me know where you're uh, tuning in from. So because I've got a lot to share today and I'm gonna try and cram in definitely two cards. And if we have time, I'll cram in a third one, but that might be a bit of a push, but let's see, let's see. Might be surprises in store. Um, so I'm gonna switch my camera around and I'll show you my desk and we'll take it from there. So it's, chock full of techniques and i hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions just pop them in the comments we are live on youtube and facebook um and uh, do share it as uh, as well if possible and you could get a chance to win a 15 dollars certificate in the auto new store uh so i'm just going to flip my camera around and uh let's see have I done it? Yes, I have. Yay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am using my, uh, the focus of our uh, project today is going to be the Mandala Maker stamp set. Now, this absolute beauty of a stamp set, when you look at it, it can uh, be kind of hard to understand. But if you uh, look at the technique videos on how to use the stamp set. You don't necessarily have to use the uh, beautiful detailed images that you have uh, with this stamp set. You can use others as well, uh, as long as you use this uh, to create a template. It'll make sense as I go along. And of course, uh, you have a very handy dandy guide inside, which will give you ideas on uh, different inspiration on ways that you can use this stamp set. So I'm just going to set, set this to the side. So I'm going to be focusing on this, but I've also got this uh, stamp set here, which is the, oh dear, I've got a cat here there. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I've got the uh, Dovetail Butterflies, which is one of my absolute favorite stamp sets. I'm a sucker for anything butterfly. So if you love butterflies, I would definitely recommend that you uh, have this stamp set in your stash it's a layering one you can do many different techniques with it there's a side profile uh one as well as well as a solid background but we'll talk about this as we go along and also for my fellow brits there's two different spellings of favorite don't you just love that i love that okay so i'm just going to set this stamp set to the side for now and quickly move on to the card now, the beauty of this uh, stamp set is, is that you can build literally thousands of different kinds of patterns with it. And you don't necessarily have to use the images that come with this uh, stamp set. You can use uh, other images from other uh, small images and create your own mandalas. Now, if you know me, I am crazy about anything mandala. And I just adore anything circular and oh i could just go on and on so what i've done is just as a template i don't know if you can yeah you can kind of see it i've created a template but i will make a new one to show show you guys 
how um, I make this template so that you have something uh, that you only do once and then you can use it over and over again uh, every time you want to pull out this stamp set and make a mandala. So I've got a piece of cardstock here and this is cut down to four and a quarter by uh, five and a half. Uh, it's just a, a plain piece of cardstock. And what I'm doing is I am very roughly marking out the center of this uh, card so that I know where to start off my mandala template. So it might seem a bit of a faff, but trust me, it is definitely worth having one of these uh, templates in your stash uh, good to go when you want to next do use your stamp set. So our other hobby is raising monarch butterflies. That's amazing. So Tracy on YouTube just looked at the uh, uh, stamp set that I shared, which was the dovetail butterflies. And she said that she raises butterflies. I would love to do that someday. Uh, I've got, um, I, I've just uh, become a new mom and my daughter is eight and a half months old and I am so thrilled to share like these kind of experiences with her, not just crafting, but I think someday I would definitely love to do that with her, raise, raise butterflies. I think that's a lovely idea. So um, also just to let you guys know, we have a lot of sales, Black Friday sales going on over on the Alt New website. Uh, some of them have started and uh, there's a lot of things that are going on sale and um, there's someone in the chat who is sharing links as well um, to all the sales and all the products that I am using in uh, this video. So what I've done is, uh, I, as I sh showed before, I marked out the center of the, thank you very much everyone. Thank you very much. And so I just marked out the center of the card and I have, there's a, there's a, a little dot in the center that lets you uh, kind of line it up with the center. So I've just done that. I might need to move, occasionally move the stamp set just a little bit nearer to me so that I can see that uh, it's lined up properly. So what I've done is it's, it, I can sometimes be a bit picky about my geometric pattern. So I'm just making sure that the uh, left and rightmost dots are like three o'clock and nine o'clock and then six o'clock and 12 o'clock. So that's going to help me create my pattern. So I am just going to pick that up and, uh, and I am going to start my stamping. So what I can do is because this uh, piece of um, cardstock, I don't need that marking anymore. So I'm just using my all to new retractable eraser just to get rid of that. And then I'm going to create. Create my. Um, my template. So let me just quickly just start stamping. So that's the first one. It comes with a really a smaller circle as well, but I'm not going to be using that for uh, this card. But if you wanted to, you can use that with your stencil. So I'm just going to peel off the plastic and put this to the side so that I I can easily access the the stamp so the next one I'm going to be using is the next size up and then again I am just lining that central dot up and making sure that the dots are like so three o'clock nine o'clock six o'clock and twelve o'clock so kind of there and I don't know where I placed my magnet for my stamping tool <laughs> so I just have to be extra careful just let 
let me have a quick look. I'm sure it's going to turn up when I <laughs> least expect it. This is what happens. Is I, you put something to the side just for a few seconds, and I'm sure it's staring at me. I don't know if you guys can see it on, on my desk anywhere. Because I don't know about you guys, no matter what, how much space I start off with, I always end up with like a, a two inch by two inch area to work on. So just stamping that down again, and then it's creating this beautiful pattern, which you can use as is, but we are using this as a template, so I'm not too bothered with any smudging that's happening right now. So, so where is everyone tuning in from? I am based in the UK and I am near near London. Near London. I'm in a small town near London. And it was actually quite cold today. Central Florida. Is is the is the video uh, a bit blurry? Is the video coming up a bit blurry? If you give it a few seconds, it might just sort itself out. So again, I've just lined up the next one and just stamping it out. And then I'm just going to take the next one, the largest one, and place that down as well. And again, just lining it up, making sure that the dots somewhat line up with each other. And ah, and here's the magnet. It was under my <laughs> it was under my stamping tool. It was stuck on there. See, I knew it was somewhere. So, and just stamping out the last one, because this is a solid image at the bottom, so you might need to give it a little bit of a clean because of the size of the ink pad, if you want to use that to create a pattern. But because we're not using this as our card base, I'm not too bothered about any smudges at the moment. So what I did before is I created a little bit of a template for myself uh, to follow. So because I didn't want to spend too much time faffing around, which is a very technical term, uh, <laughs> with trying to create a pattern. So you've got a lot of tiny little stamps on here. And um, uh you've got of each of them you've got different sizes and of each of the sizes you've got two of them so which which is going to help you to create a pattern and what you can do is you can stamp this out and then you can individually use a small block and then create your pattern but i'm going to show you an easier way which takes a little bit longer to set up but it is it is worth it it is worth setting up so what I'm doing is I am laying down my design on one half of the card. And what I can do is, it's going to make sense as we go along, is, is that I can uh, flip it and then create like a mirrored effect, mirrored image of the uh it. So I'm just laying down using the dots that I stamped out 
and I'm just using them as a guideline to lay down my uh, stamps to create my design. So next, let's do uh, some circles on either side of this stamp set. Do, do, do any of you have this stamp set already? Is this a new stamp set? No, it's not. It's, it's, uh, it's not new and it's not old either. I think this was released uh, maybe two, two years ago. Uh, something like that and it's it also comes with a matching uh, die set which is like a confetti maker which you can die cut all of these shapes out individually and you can use them put them inside a shaker card uh, so I'm just creating a really simple pattern and so next one we will place one next to it here and so I'm just trying to do this as quickly as I can you've not seen this one before it's all to new not only do they do amazing um, layering flower stamps some of their stamp sets are really really innovative and it's really worth checking out and i myself am a huge fan of any kind of geometric design and i just i just adore uh playing around with uh stamps and you know creating your own patterns so let's just use these ones next and Let's put this one here. And next one, we can put this here. So I'm creating a, a symmetrical kind of pattern. And do I want to do a bit more one there? Let's do one there as well. So that's the that's the the one at three o'clock so I don't need to do put anything on this side because when I flip it around that will be stamped there which I promise you it will make <laughs> it will make sense when I do the actual stamping so let me just put this last one down and then get to some actual stamping so i've just created my pattern i might do some tweaks afterwards but let's see what this looks like stamped so after all that positioning we're going to take this one to the side and i have my card blank here and uh Let's do some stamping. So I've got Aqualicious here. Actually, let's start off with Sea Breeze and then we can add some more darker colors afterwards for a more ombre kind of effect. So just dab, 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 dab. And just making sure that I put my magnet on so that this doesn't budge. And stamp. Now, because this is a solid, uh, they, they are solid images, these small ones, they might appear a bit sludgy in the beginning, but the color smooths out if you just give it a few minutes. And just to get the color a little bit more pop, I'm just going to do stamping again. So that's one side done. And now here's the magical part. Let me flip this around. And then put that there and then we're going to do stamping on the other side and just like that you have a pattern
And this is actually really perfect for if you want to do uh, make like multiples of uh, cards. So if you want to make uh, lots of different cards, then you can have a go at uh, making like lots of them at the same time. So I've just done that one. Uh, I want to add a little bit more color onto this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this down here. And I want to add a few more elements to it. So I'm just going to leave those on there for now, just in case I want to add a wee bit more color on there. So let me add some more, shall we? Let's do some, some dots then. If we add, okay, that's a bit too large. So I love that there's many different sizes on here for me to choose from. So I'm just going to place, you can use your template if you want, but I can use this pattern itself to judge where I want to place more color. So I'm just placing those two there. And maybe we can do some of these tiny ones here. And one more, like that. It is a bit fiddly, but honestly, it will the final result will definitely be worth it. So let me just check that that's on where I want it. So I'm just going to move that just a tid, leave it on there. Yeah. So I'm just going to pick that up. And then uh next color i'm going to use is pink alicious the, the, so the first color i used was uh sea breeze and the next one i'm using is pink alicious have you guys tried out the new all to new inks they are absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to get my hands on them so we've got that design there, and all I need to do is just flip this around like that and just ink that up. And step that out like that. And you can just keep on building up your pattern as much as you like. So I'm just gonna put these away before I lose them because these are tiny. And if I lose any of these, I will be heartbroken. Put them away or lose them. That's my <laughs> that's my current motto these days. Uh, usually I have like a small bowl sitting on the side if I've got really tiny pieces and I don't have time to put them away or if I need to use them again, I just put them in a bowl so that you know they don't get lost. So I'm just taking Aqualicious and I am just dabbing it on just the outer more most edges of the stamp set just to give it a little bit of a shaded kind of effect just on the outside part so that gives it like a kind of dimensional shaded look I just love being able to do that with very few supplies and again doing the same again just ever so slightly dabbing it just to give that slight shaded effect Oh, I love how this is coming along. So we've got that design and I think it needs a touch of yellow as well, which I am actually going to do by hand. So 
So what we're going to do is, what shall we do? I think you can't go wrong with the dots. So I'm going to pick up one of these dots and just go in with the yellow. So I'm using fresh lemon here. Beautiful, lovely yellow color. Perfect to use on this very gray day. Uh, where do I want the yellow? So I'm going to put one in the center, right there, and one there, and there, and then I'm going to do it on the outside as well, because doing it like that makes it a little bit faster. But setting it up initially, like I did before, is definitely worth it, especially if uh, you are doing multiple cards. So we want one there and one there. And that's it. That's our card background done. Really simple. Thank you everyone who's sharing. Um, if you are sharing, then you get a chance to win some uh, prizes and a gift card to spend in the Autonew shop. So I've got my stamping done. So just making sure which way does my card open like that. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna decide afterwards which uh, which sentiment I want to stamp on there. I'm just going to leave that on there and just use this side. What we're going to do next is we're going to stamp our butterfly. Yes, you could use a die cut word as well. That would be literally all you need. You would just need to maybe add a... Uh, uh, a glitter die cut word, maybe from uh, one of the word dies that Autumn does. There's so many, and uh, some of the new ones have these uh, very lovely, um, like a shadow background, which I adore. So I'm just going to stamp out my butterfly and let's do the solid first, actually. I'm just taking the solid part, placing that down. And again, <laughs> my my magnet went walkabout. <laughs> hey, Tracy, thanks for tuning in. This is the uh, background that I made. This was made using the Mandala Maker uh, stamp set. And now I am using Dovetail Butterflies to st to stamp out the larger butterfly so that I can die cut it and then I'm going to be placing it on my card so just double stamping it because I really want that saturated color on there and put my stamp back and use the, the outline part 
just making sure that it's lined up. I'm just going to pull it a little bit closer just to make sure that it's lined up perfectly. There we go. And that's lined up. My magnet in, is in. I'm just going to lift that up. And I was originally going to stamp this in black, but I want to stamp over it with Aqualicious. Let's see how this looks. If it doesn't work, then we can just go over it with, with the black. Not a problem. This is why we have a stamping platform. Just pressing that down. Let's see what that looks like. So the dovetail butterfly also comes with a matching die set as well. Oh, I quite like that. I love that it's giving like a greeny kind of blended effect. Oh, I like that. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this. And my cardstock is already cut down into a three inch uh, wide strip so that I can die cut my butterfly out. So uh, let me grab the die set. Is that is that any better? How does that look? I think my camera is having some problems focusing, maybe. There we go. So let's die cut the butterfly out. Really sorry about the the blurriness, guys. I will definitely take a photograph of the finished image and uh, make sure that I share it to my social media, which will get shared onto the Orchinu social media as well. Just lined it up and just die cut it. I'll try and hold up the um, the stamping I've already done up to the camera so that you can be you can see it easier. So I've just die cut that. I'm just gonna put this away. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose it and definitely do not want to lose that. Right, so there's my butterfly. There's my butterfly stamped. And this is the background that I've done with the mandala. And I am going to position it on there in the center like that, pop it up with some foam tape. But now I need to decide where which sentiment to use. So I'm just going to place this to the side and I'm going to stamp my sentiment first. So we're going to do you, you are my favorite at the bottom here. In black ink. 
So I love that you've got this cursive stamp there as well. And then you've got a typed font there as well. So I'm just going to line this up, place it towards the bottom right, and pick that up. Move that out of the way. The magnet was in the way there. Okay. Pick that up and stamp that with obsidian pigment ink. How are we doing for time? Okay, not too bad. Half an hour gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly stamp it first just to see what it looks like. Yep, that's fine. Just and then press it again. That's my that's my uh, favorite way of trying to get like a really crisp uh, stamped image. Because sometimes with these fine lines, you find that if you press it down too hard first time around it smudges so it's actually worth just really lightly stamping it first and then do going in with a second press just to make sure that it's not smudging and then i am also using the uh, dimensional foam tape which is also on sale which almost never goes on sale. And seriously, if you guys use a lot of this, like I do, then it's definitely worth getting a roll of two of this because I go through this stuff like crazy. You can never have too much foam tape, in my, in my humble opinion. And I just love how easily it lifts up as well with not too much effort so i've just put some foam tape down and i don't know about you guys but i tend to make a lot of cards around about this time of the year a lot more especially for christmas and to give out for holidays and for new years so I go through a lot of foam tape. So just making sure that it lines up. Look at how large that butterfly is. It almost fills that front of this card. And this is the first card all done. And then what you can do is if you wanted to, you could go in with a gel pen, add some more details, add some more gems as well. And that's your first card done. So do we have time? We have 20 minutes. So we can actually make another card. So I've got this one done. I'm just going to place this to the side. And I'm going to bring my stamp tool over. And I am... So the next one, let's do a one layer card. And the beauty of this is you've got that template done and you can just keep using that same template over and over again to create even more cards. So just quickly putting them away. You don't you guys don't want to watch me <laughs> tidying away my things with you, then we'll be here forever. So I'm just quickly going to put this to the side. So, uh, so like I mentioned, once you've made that your template, you can keep using that same template over and over again. Now, let's make a neater version of this. Um, so that, you know, you don't necessarily have to use that as just a template. Let's create another kind of card. So if I bring over another card blank, like so 
actually let's do some free stamping well let's not do some free stamping because that might be asking for trouble and we don't want to we don't want to mess things up with this life so i'm just going to place this just a little bit overhanging here and lift and i'm going to use obsidian It's obsidian is just, oh, I just, I can't get over how good it is at picking up really fine detailed images. It's my go-to for any kind of line stamping that I need to do. So I've got that one done there. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this around and... you automatically have a balanced design because it's symmetrical and I'm just going to put this away for now and let's do oops let's do favorite person let's stamp that out favorite person and I am going to stamp that actually I don't think that let's do a wordless card a card without a sentiment because sometimes you just need one of those We've got that here, and let's bring in our circular designs. So I'm going to use one of these as, as an element, and then I'm going to create like a little background using the rest of the stamp set. So you don't have to use them as a pattern. You can use them as individuals as well. And I'm just randomly stamping those dots down. Need some here as well. There's that. So I used Pinkalicious there. And then I'm going to bring over the tiniest of the circles over. And I am going to use Sea Breeze. And it can feel a bit scary to just go in and just random stamp. But I just love doing this because it cr creates like this lovely kind of organic effect. And I'm overlapping some of the dots as well. And placing some of them on the butterfly too. And now I want to go in with that yellow to add that bright pop of color. Do I want to do dots or do I want to do hearts? Let's keep with the dots, I think. And 
knit. Let me just make some space here. <laughs> And just adding these, these dots of yellow here and there, keeping the background really, really minimal. I love that. It looks like confetti actually do you know what it looks like it looks like sprinkles and I think one there as well ah oh, that looks really cute just one there as well and I think let's Go in with the heart as well, and we can use Aqualicious. Just, just making sure that I'm putting that back where it belongs because you do not want to lose any of these. And I'm not really paying too much attention to where I'm stamping. And I love doing this because then I can just zone out. And just add stamping here and there. It just becomes like a little kind of crafting therapy session. Doesn't it? I just love how relaxed I am right now. So are you guys just watching or are you crafting as well alongside? And do you guys have any of these stamp sets, the mandala maker or the dovetail butterflies? <laughs> the butterflies are saying hello. I like that as well. And there is the finished card. Do I want to add a sentiment or not? I think what I'll do is probably off camera, I will add a sentiment in from maybe another stamp set. Because this one comes with your... Actually, let's do your my person. Because I used to watch a lot of Grey's Anatomy. And that was a line that two of the characters would say to each other. They were best friends, almost like sisters. And they looked out for each other. And that's what they would say to each other. I love that. And I can already think of someone I am going to send this to. Just making sure. Is this the right side? Yeah, because you don't want to be stamping it upside down. Which I may have done before. But it'll be our secret, right? You guys won't tell anyone. So just prepping that stamp just a tiny bit, just putting just a touch of ink on there, lightly press and check. That's actually stamped all right, just a little bit more press. And there's that card done and camera please focus.
zillion ideas for the mandala i love playing with basic shapes and making graphic designs i mean i i absolutely adore making geometric designs and there's just so many different possibilities that you can use with these because you don't necessarily just have to use it with just the mandala uh images you can use any of the other images uh small images and create your own patterns i mean the possibilities are absolutely endless i mean just imagine just imagine if you took something like this block alpha uh stamp set and just created like a a, a really typography inspired kind of uh, mandala with that because i initially wanted to do that but then i thought that you know that would take up too much time so i thought i'd keep it as simple as possible and so that's one card done and where did i put the other one here's the other one as well do we have time for a quick third card we have seven minutes actually i don't think we do so let me just turn the camera around and see if you guys have any questions Right. Yes, you guys can make a border with the uh, stamp set as well. And the Mandala Maker uh, stamp set also comes with a matching die as well, uh, which you can uh, use to create your mandalas as well. Or you can use them as confetti to uh, make your own kind of like inside bits for a shaker card. And uh, just wanted to say thank you to everyone for joining in. And just a quick reminder that all of the uh, products that I used uh, will were shared by uh, my helper in the Altenew chat. And also a quick reminder that Altenew is doing a lot of sales on at this moment. Uh, they're running, they've, the sales have already started and some of them are running until the 30th of uh, november so keep an eye out like i mentioned the dimensional foam tape that i've used is on sale for like i think it's over 40 percent off and uh if you wanted to get your hands on some of the brushes as well the blending brushes they are on sale as well the small ones uh they're almost half price which is just something that almost never happens um but thank you very much everyone for joining in and I hope that you have a wonderful day, evening, morning, wherever you are. And sorry about the technical issues. I'll try and make sure that it doesn't happen again. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being so lovely and supportive. I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Take care and bye.